I'm Tom and as my first video for the Printabot Simple Metal Kit, I'm going to do the unboxing. So at this point again thank you to Dreidetinger who provided me with this printer for the videos. This is the Printabot Simple Metal Kits box, it's a good bit smaller than the assembled version. So we've got a help sheet for the Zanser adapter board and a packing list and we already got the good stuff here so let's get that aside. So in here we have the Z and Y connecting blocks and these are really nicely machined aluminum. These already have the bearings pressed into them and we have the Delrin blocks that are going to hold the linear rails for the X and Y axis and some parts for the Y axis itself. We have four identical Kusan steppers and the printer board. This is already pre-assembled, there's nothing else to do for us there. And the Z lead screw and the linear rails for Z, X and Y. And these are really nice fat rails for Z there. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope. Okay, so what else do we have? We've got a filament sample of lovely pink. We've got a German power cord. This is just a, a short one. We've got the power supply. So this is actually a really nice high quality meanwhile power supply. Then we've got the milled parts for the extruder plus a couple of screws and washers and stuff. And the linear bearings, LM8Us and a couple of radial bearings as belt idlers. So, yeah. Then we've got the clamp that is going to hold down the linear bearings for the bed, so for the X axis. A pack with wires, belts, wire wraps, and uh, those are the end stops. Then a big fat bag with all kinds of miscellaneous stuff. So in here we have the fan for the hot end, we have the Z coupler. We have two laser cut wooden wrenches for the Z end stop sensor probe. We've got the, we've got a pulley, we got the power cable, which includes the sensor adapter board. We've got a nice long micro USB cable, we got wrenches. And we've got the UBIS hotend, which is used on practically every other printer bot as well. We got the Z probe sensor that is going to replace the end stop. We've got two bags of screws. Uh, these are metric screws mostly, except for like one or two. So that actually makes it possible for a European to get some replacement parts as well. And we've got the frame parts. So this is the Y arm with the mount for the hot end and the probe. This is the printer's base. And the print bed, so the X axis practically. And you might notice that these parts are a bit bigger than the ones from the simple maker's kit, the wooden one. Um, well that's because the metal is a 6x6 six six inch printer and the simple maker's kit is just a 4x4 four four one. So it's got 50% more printing space in each direction. So let's get these open. So the first thing you're going to notice is that these are quite hefty parts. Um, it doesn't get across on the pictures as well, but these are actually fairly thick aluminum. So there's nothing going to bend or wobble or get bent out of place there. And the printer's base. Now this is also a pretty intricate but solid design. There's nothing going to wobble around or shake or, you know. And uh, the other thing you're going to notice it, is that these are actually really nicely powder coated. And we've got the Y arm. Yep, come on. Okay, so this is the 
Y arm with the hole with the hole for the hot end and the Z probe and the mounting spot for the hot end fan. Whoops. So these are four identical Kusan steppers. Uh, these are actually fairly beefy ones. Then let's look at the bearing holder for the x-axis. Uh, this piece replaces what used to be zip ties on the simple. So it holds the bearings for the x-axis. So for the left and right movement of the bed. And I think this is a much neater solution than zip tying the linear bearings down. So let's look at the linear rails here. Um, these are the Z rails and these are actually fairly fat rails pressed into an aluminum block and these are 14, 12 millimeter rods. Uh, really nice quality. There's nothing going to bend there. Then we have the Acme lead screw for the Z axis. And the linear rails for X and Y. And again, these are also pretty nice quality. Okay, let's get that in here. So that's a really nice tight fit, so nothing going to come loose there. And let's take a look what we have in the miscellaneous bag. So for starters, we have three, four wrenches. We've got the mentioned sensor adapter board with the power jack and the connector. Two laser cut wrenches, and these don't fit so perfectly. Um, we got the extension cable for the Z probe. We got one, two pulleys. And in here are the end stops. There's two end stops in here and the third one is the Z probe. Then we have the extension wires for the hot end and the thermistor. We got the linear bearings and we're going to open up those when we need them. So you see the PrinterBot simple metal kit contains practically everything you need to build a printer. Um, a pair of wire cutters, like small ones like these, is also recommended. Um, but everything else is in here. So, thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to look at the first steps of assembling the PrinterBot Simple Metal Kit.